Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing the hugely requested toned arms workout. In this video, we are going to be doing a range of movements to really strengthen and tone the upper body. As much as we all love the visual results of working out, it is actually so important for your health. So as you do this workout, really push yourself and encourage yourself that you are getting stronger with every moment and that really matters. Building up a good amount of muscle in the body is so needed. Exercise is great for your mental and physical health. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure that you click subscribe for more videos and share this channel with a friend. That would really be such a blessing to me and really help support this channel. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been trying to make a lot more videos for you guys and really put more of my heart into the space. Um, so yeah, share a channel with a friend would be great. Also join me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Check out my website for more. Oh, and also let me know how you find the workout in the comments because I want to know. I want to know if you're physically able to lift your arms to type a comment after this workout let me know <laughs> all right without further ado let's get into the workout you ready okay we're not messing around we're gonna start straight away with some pullbacks so coming down onto your knees and your hands ready and go I want you to support the weight of your body using your arms and um, if you're a little bit more advanced you can carry the weight of your body on your feet as well so just straighten at the knees um, so that instead of you know bending the leg you've got a straight leg and you're therefore carrying more weight in your arms then you're just going to pull back so bending at the elbow really contract and pull the arm back as though you're like you know saying yeah gotcha in a really cheesy american film or something <laughs> but yeah swapping from arm to arm and relax well done relax for 20 seconds you can stretch it out we're gonna go into the next move which are some downward dogs to planks for all my yogis out there this you know you might think we're going in for a little slice of heaven but but we're not we're still very much working the arms and the shoulders in particular ready and go i want you to go into a downward dog pose that is pushing the heels back towards the floor feeling that stretch in the calves and the hamstrings um, and in the shoulders as well actually but i want you to control the movement with your upper body so as you come through to that plank position hold it keep it nice and strong keep the core tight just really playing around with the weight of your body feeling how much weight is in your body i was definitely feeling my weight during this workout um but yeah just enjoy it if you can like i actually quite like this move it's very it's very nice all right and relax for 20 seconds the next move that we're going to do are good old push-ups now i don't know how many of my workouts you've done but you might think Sarah, we do push-ups often. Yeah, yeah, we do because it's really good to do the same thing. You don't need, you don't need 20 different exercises. You just need good ones, and push-ups are great. So let's go. And um, we are doing kind of half push-ups. So again, I'm pivoting at the knees, but feel free to extend your legs so that you're taking the, you know, more of your body weight. Just lower the body down. Um, and push back up essentially try and hold your core nice and tight so that your body's in a straight line from knee to hip to shoulder try not to stop so if if it's getting difficult slow down but don't stop okay you're doing really well well done one more and relax well done then the next exercise i've called the scooch back um you might think what is a scooch back it's kind of like when someone's like oh well, you just scooch up a little bit and so you kind of take your body weight in your hands and move back except we're gonna feel the burn this <laughs> this exercise is not a joke ready and go and um, so what i want you to try and do is not let your booty touch the floor so try and keep your body off the floor as you kind of just straighten the legs out and um, pivoting at the heels and just moving it back and forth you really get some good control with this movement be slow and intentional with it really working the shoulders the triceps especially doing really well try not to let the bottom touch the floor controlling that movement as you straighten out the legs and relax did you feel that because i felt it i really felt that one and um, awesome then we're going to go in and do some shoulder taps again just using the weight of our body as we alternate from arm to arm you can decide whether you want to do full plank or whether you want to bend at the knees ready and go tapping 
each shoulder trying to move as little as possible I'm actually moving more than I would recommend there so um, yeah try and keep nice and still what that will take is a lot of abdominal control so if you want to work your core try and stay still with it shifting that weight from one arm to the other you doing really well keep going doing really well a few more and relax awesome stretch it out stretch it out and we are going back in with the pullbacks which you'll probably feel a little bit more this time because we've just done some shoulder taps but that's the whole point remember you are doing wonders for yourself such wonders oh i cannot rave about exercise enough ready and go so trying to keep the movement controlled so you're not shifting too much but alternating the arm which holds the weight as you pull back be intentional with that squeeze really squeeze the muscle squeeze the the lats as well as you pull back clenching the fist you're doing really well keep going i know you can feel it i know it's hard that's what we're here for we're here to improve and you're doing an awesome job i'm super proud of you and relax well done and the next exercise we're going to do is the downward dog to plank breathe think about what you're going to have for your next meal what are you having for your next meal can you let me know in the comments i'm curious Thanks. I like to know what you guys eat in a day too. <laughs> Ready and go. Shifting the weight back, pushing the heels towards the ground when you're coming back into that downward dog pose, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings and the shoulders. Aim to get a kind of straight line um, so you could join the dots from your hip to your shoulder to your hands when you're back in that pose and then bringing it forward for that controlled plank getting a bit of abdominal work in there too because you know why not get two for the price of one you know i love a bargain and relax awesome take a breath stretch it out and we're going back in with the scooch backs i love this i love that i get to just name stuff <laughs> this is called the scooch back oh sorry it is actually really hard so ready and go we've got to make something light of it so just shifting the weight back you can kind of see it better from this angle actually which is good and um, shifting the weight of the body back controlling it really working those triceps trying to keep the body off the mat if it does touch it a little bit, that's that's okay, that's okay. We can forgive that because you are still working really hard, working really well. The next time someone tells you to scooch over a bit, you're gonna be like, not today, Satan. I've done those and they are hard. Well done and relax, nearly there. You're doing really well. And the next exercise is the shoulder tap. Don't forget to let me know what you're having, by the way, for your next meal. That'd be awesome. Thanks. Sorry for being nosy. Just, you know, just keeping it spicy, ready, and go. Tapping each shoulder. Keep it moving. You might be tempted to stop. Don't give in. Keep pushing yourself. You can do this. That's what's amazing about exercise is that you just prove to yourself again and again that you are capable of doing what you put your mind to um, and that's awesome it spills into other areas of your life too so well done for doing this workout you're doing really well keep tapping keep tapping those shoulders and relax i think i thought i messed up the timer but i didn't because we are on the last exercise the push-ups so we're going to just burn it out for the last 35 seconds really go for it you can challenge yourself by doing full body push-ups, so extending the legs fully, and go. Try and get as close to the floor as you can, so really lowering the body all the way down. It's a bit more difficult with the knee um, push-ups, but you can still just control the weight of the body down and back up. So face really coming to just above the mat. 
doing really well. The final few seconds, really push through. Pun not intended, but kind of intended. Keep going, you've got this. And relax, well done, you did it. Thank you so much for working out with me. I'm so sweaty, because that's what happens when you film like four workouts in a row on one of the hottest days of the year. But I love it, because you guys do it with me. So thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Love you so much, can't stop talking. Why do I always do this at the end of videos? Okay, bye, love you, bye.